What's up, 360 Wave family? It's me, 360 Wave Process Rashad. And today, I'm about to answer some questions. I'm about to answer some questions that a few of my waivers asked me. The first person, this is his waves right here, all right? There is no names because I didn't have them put their name, I just told them to put their picture and their, their question. So basically, he say he been brushing for a month and a half. His top shows a little bit. How could he make his top and sides and back come in a little bit fuller and thicker? So basically, I see what you're saying, your top is coming in. What you have to do is finish getting your wave pattern at the top, and then once you have that one in, the rest will follow suit. The back is gonna come in, but you just gotta keep up your brushwork, bro. Like, for real. Keep up the brushwork. Brush your top like this, you know what I mean? And then go to your sides. Make sure you woof, and then after you finish woofing, make sure you brush. It's a routine, bro. So we're gonna move on to the next question. His question is, what should I do to get my connection and my sides to come in? What should I do? So basically, if you're missing the connections on your sides, what you need to do is you need to start putting some concentrated brush work on them. When I say concentrated brush work, I mean you need to get in the mirror. I was looking for a mirror. That's what I'm looking for right now, but I don't have it with me. And boom, focus on those miss missing connections. If your connections is missing right here, straight brush work on them till they come in. Our next waiver, he wants to know how can he brush his crown? How should he brush it? So this is how you should brush your crown, bro. Right here. Hop up in the mirror like this. Boom, boom, boom. You find your spot. And I don't recommend doing it with a soft brush. You're gonna need a medium brush. So what I'm about to do is, I'm about to get this classic 3WP Blue Edition brush right here. And I'm about to put in some work on my crown, just so you can learn how to do it. So, I got me a medium brush. It's good to start off with a medium brush because you can actually pull hair. You need to see what you're doing, just like that. This is how I brush mine. Boom. Concentrated brush work and you'll turn it into the little circle crown. It takes time though, the crown really takes time, bro. My crown was the last thing to start coming in tight. So that's how you brush your crown right there. Take notes, even rewind that if you need to and watch the angles I was getting. The next question. So our next waiver wants to know if his hair texture is the same as mine's and he feels like his last wolf session was too long and that he, he should shorten it to four weeks instead of six. Excuse me. So, yeah, bro. All right, so if you feel like that, go ahead and try it and see your results. Next, is your hair texture the same as mine? Your hair texture is very similar to mine. I would say it's the exact same. What y'all think? Like, look at my hair, and then look at his. It may not look like it too much because his wave pattern look a little bit different than mine, but if he was to brush his hair and get to this level right here, his waves would look exactly like mine, even though they're they not in there yet. It is, he just gotta keep that brush work up. All right, so keep your brush work up, bro. Next person, let's see what they gotta say. Let's see their picture right here. All right, so he says, I've been asking in the live stream, but I didn't get no response. My question is, what is a good, cheap wave brush that will actually help my waves continue to better? That's an excellent question. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably wanna know the answer to that. 
All right, so a good cheap wave brush that you could get that's inexpensive is um, you could get you a Wave Enforcer 544. I actually have one right here within my arm's reach. This is it, this is how it look. It's wood, a little handle on it. This is what the bristles look like. These bristles right here, this is supposedly a medium brush. However, these bristles are pretty firm. This right here is a brush I recommend. I have a link in the description where you could get this from, all right? And this costs about, I mean, less than $10, all right? So this is a good grab if you're trying to be inexpensive with it. Next question. Our waiver says, how my waves look? I'm checking them out right here. They cool, bro. You gotta keep up your breast sessions though because I see that you have some connection issues right there at the top. So all you gotta do is put that brushwork in, keep it consistent, and that's gonna form in, and then you're gonna be on the top level, man. You're gonna be connecting and spinning. Simple as that. Next waiver, let's see what they say. Our next waiver says that he needs help. He can feel his waves, but he cannot see them. He also says his top sides and the back are the same way. He needs help with all of it. So basically, if you could feel your waves, but you can't see them, then that's just real simple, bro. They are not there. You imagining things, all right? What you are feeling though, is your natural curl of your hair, all right? The natural texture. Since it's curly, if you go like this, it's gonna feel bumpy, which resembles waves. All right, so that's what you're feeling up there. Now, all you gotta do is keep up the progress. We're looking at your waves right now, and they forming in there. But the tips I can give you right now is you need to keep your hair laid down. I can see like you high key whooping right here, man. The sides is just fuzzed up. It's like you don't even brush the sides. All right, so what you gotta do, whenever you pick up your brush, brush the sides first because they need to get laid down real quick. And then also, you need to sleep with a do-rag on because that's gonna keep that under control and keep all of it level, all right, in the long run. When it's laid down, it's easier to maintain, it's easier to get your waves, it's easier to brush, it's all good, all right? So that's what I wanna leave you with, bro. Make sure you brush your sides first so that they can get more brush time. And then also, make sure you get you a do-rag to keep your hair laid down. Wear it to sleep every night, bro, all right? That's the end of the video. I hope these tips help a lot of you guys because I know some of you have the same problems. Next, hit that like button, subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. I got the lineup video coming soon because y'all got that video about how to cut your hair to almost 1500 likes. So that one's coming soon. Um, I got one about how to line up your facial hair coming soon too because, you know what I mean? We dropping videos. All right, so I'm gonna see y'all on my next video. That's pretty much it, y'all. 360wayprocess.com. The gold edition is available now. You can go to 360wayprocess.com and order it. Look how beautiful this is. I'm gonna unbox it for y'all. Right there. All right, so that's the gold edition. We got the 360 wave process crown and beard brush. This one right here is coming out real soon, honestly. You can pre order it now. We'll have links in the description to all this, all right? The blue edition is out of stock right now, but it will be back into stock by the beginning of September, which is next month, all right? So, yeah, that's a quick little update. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Peace, bro.